Hello, this is Jeff Oker with In-Depth Studies. Today we are in the book of Revelation, chapter 3, verses 11 and 12. This is the letter to the church at Philadelphia. Obviously, they must have lost the letter to the church of Pittsburgh, but this is Philadelphia. And it says this, I am coming soon. Hold on to what you have so that no one will take your crown. The one who is victorious... I will make a pillar in the temple of my God. Never again will they leave it. I will write on them the name of my God and the name of the city of my God, the new Jerusalem, which is coming down out of heaven from God. And I will also write on them my new name. Of course, this is the context. These are those who are going to be with the Lord forever in the new heavens and new earth. And But the key concept in here is that the one who is victorious gets the crown. And in here, the crowns are figures of speech for eternal life that the believer gets if he perseveres to the end. Now, it's important to understand that when Jesus died on the cross, he, pay, he paid for our sin, purchased this remarkable work of the Holy Spirit in the life of the believer, which means that every believer who has their sins paid for, also by the Holy Spirit will keep on loving him till they die. They will persevere in their faith to the very end. And so every believer gets a crown. So the crown is not something that some believers get and others don't, but it is simply a description of eternal life that you get if you persevere. Because we are responsible to persevere, but as believers, we're, we're not scared or frightened as to whether we will persevere, because that's all been purchased for us. Remember Philippians 1, 6, he who began a good work in you will keep on doing it until the day of Christ Jesus. If this has been helpful. Check out more of Jeff's thoughts on YouTube, and there you can subscribe to them. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.